hey what's up it's your girl maureen back in the kitchen and today i'll be showing you how we make our oxtail so this is my oxtail make sure you wash it some people use lemon when they're washing it but mine is clean cut off the excess fat and once you're done with it you can marinate it just like i'm doing and then put it aside so once you're done marinating probably you can do it overnight or for 30 minutes if you're going to prepare it's best you go to a nice butchery and get them cut so well mine were from a local butchery but um, we'll use this for demonstration so once I'm done marinating my oxtail I'll cut my vegetables and put them aside you can go ahead if you want more bell pepper I'm using half you can use a whole bell pepper depending on how much you want bell pepper so once you're done cutting your vegetables you can put them aside then heat your frying pan with oil make sure that your oil is very little because the oxtail is fatty so use little oil and I'm using olive oil um, and then I'll be using brown sugar just to let it melt but if you don't want brown sugar it's okay I want to get that nice gravy that's why I'm using brown sugar so once I'm done I'll put in my oxtail and then just monitor them keep changing them side to side not to burn of course you'll see that that is burnt brown sugar but it's okay so when you're done you can add in the rest of the vegetables and something to note that when you're preparing the oxtail it will take three hours to three and a half hours you just have to keep checking and add in water I added three times water of course water and some stock um, once you're done removing say your oxtail from that bowl where you marinated you can add in uh, some water so that you get all those flavors plus your chicken stock and then you add in so you'll keep checking uh, while you add water until it reduces maximum it may take three and a half hours depending on hard how hard your oxtail is and then once you're done then you can serve it with anything i love serving it with posho enjoy watching the video
hey guys hope you enjoyed watching the video so our oxtail is ready and it's a stew as you can see but if you want more of sauce um watch it don't over reduce the water don't let it overcook to reduce but i love it as a stew and like i said you guys need to try it with posho i know some of you may want rice but i love mine with posho and green so i'm setting my plate as you can see me and the family are going to share on one plate and it's very nice when you're sharing on one plate <laughs> isn't it so thank you so much for watching the video um please remember to like and subscribe and those that haven't yet joined press that button um the treat subscribe the red button subscribe and then hit the notification bell and you'll be part of Mo's Kitchen. Once you join Mo's Kitchen, you can check in our playlist. We have variety of videos. You can go watch them, especially those that are joining for the first time. Even those who have already subscribed, I'm sure there are some videos that you haven't watched. So thank you and bye-bye from Mo's Kitchen until our next upload and thank you so much for yours who ask questions and then those who comment. We love your comments because they help us improve on our videos. Thank you and bye-bye.